Today we're going to do a painting of a coastal scene at Acadia National Park. So let's get our art supplies together and let's have a fun day. And so what I'm thinking about here is some of the problematic areas. You can see this background trees over here that practically runs on an implied straight line which now creates a rectangle. And I always try to find excuses to create depth. So I'm thinking about breaking this up here, stopping this forest over here, and then pushing this other mountain further back, and that gives me another plane. Also, this is on a slant, which in the painting will make it feel like it's tilting and that I didn't plan it correctly. So I'm gonna to have to correct that and straighten that out. This tree trunk here is running parallel to what would be the frame. That's not a good idea. So I think about a ballerina stretching and giving it a curvature like this. And that gives a much better feeling and it also creates a better negative space. See that that little zigzag line there is not very pleasant for viewers. So we have to alter that line to make it more interesting. So I've decided to make it into a musical note. So these are my Celine Dion pitches, high notes. So if you think in music, with your lines, it will work also as it works with painting. Um, as it works with music, it also works with painting. Keep remixing my paint every time so I get different variations of color. Dry brushing. It gives you all those little fuzzy areas. Those are all the little bowels that come out. And so our next stage will be, I feel that these rocks, see these have some nice little sparkles on them. I think we can put a few more. We'll use the palette knife for that. Get some nice thin lines. There we go. That's what I wanted, just where the sun's hitting. Very sharp edge. 